Hey, what's going on guys? This is Push to Insanity and what you guys are watching today is another free 3D intro template. So go ahead and open up the download file and you guys will notice that you're provided with the background.mp4 file. This is a special file that's provided to you guys from my channel exclusively and it's pretty much the background that was used in the templates but it's for people that don't have the plugins that were used to create them. So if you guys don't have those plugins, you guys can still have a complete intro template. So now go ahead and open up the first file of the template, which is the uh, Cinema 40 part of the intro. So now to edit your text, select both mode text objects and change your text to whatever you want. If your text is long like mine, you'll notice that some of the letters are misplaced. So to fix this, select the plane effector one and go to where the keyframe is located, which is at 140 frames and move the plane effector away from the letters and hit the keyframe button. Now do the same for 200 frames and make sure that you hit the keyframe once you're done. I'm going to save this um, intro template file so you guys wouldn't have to do this step. So once you guys are finished doing that and editing your text, go to your render settings and save your intro to your own desktop or folder and you guys can render out your Cinema 40 part of the intro. Once you guys have finished rendering your Cinema 40 part of the intro, open up your second part of the template, which is the After Effects file. You guys will notice that you're missing one file, which is the actual render of the template itself. So in order to fix this, just right click the frame and replace the footage with what you guys rendered in Cinema 4D. So if you guys rendered this intro template, you guys would have done it in a PNG sequence. So just open up the first uh, PNG file, which should be the one of four zeros and make sure that PNG sequence is selected. Now I didn't actually render this intro template. However, it's pretty much the same way if you guys render in a PNG sequence. So uh, as you guys can see, I already have the background in the template. This is because I have the plugins that were used to create this background effect. However, if you guys don't have this uh, plugin, you guys will not have the background that was used in the template. So if you guys don't have the plugins that were used to create the background, you guys can just uh, import the file that I've given you in the download, which is the background.mp4 file, and just drag this file under your intro to get that background effect. And once you guys are finished with that, go to composition and add your composition to the render queue and you guys can render out your intro. 